morning guys i just put my face on and i'm very tired i usually don't get up this early even though it's probably late for normal people i have an appointment today again at element tattoo studio with Ryan. uh that is the same guy who did my uh my sternum tattoo this one um I also made a video about you can check it out on my channel today uh, I'm pretty excited because I actually made the design myself yes I drew the design on my iPad and except for this simple little heart I have inside of my palm this will be the first tattoo that I've designed entirely myself so I'm very excited and it's going on there the back of my thigh it's a Japanese motif, it's called Omamori, and it's kind of like a good luck charm, um, which you can get all over Japan. They're very traditional, and they often sell it uh, uh, in temples and stuff like that for all different purposes, like for wealth, for happiness, for family, for protection, for, yeah, you name it. And I just really, really love them. I always buy like a bunch of them when I'm in Japan. So I just thought, having it as a tattoo design would be really cool. I think Irain is the right person to do it. I love his work, I love his line work, and he's really good and artistic, so I think, yeah. And I'm gonna take you with me. Um, again, this is like on the back side of my thigh, so I'm gonna have to lay on my stomach, and filming it might be a little bit tricky, um, but we'll, we'll see. done for the day and it feels great it looks awesome i'm so glad we chose to do it a little bigger than what i planned initially i'm like go big or go home always always end up getting a really really big piece even though i think no this one is gonna be kind of small no always ends up huge it was a good choice for this one i think it looks great the only thing now is that I have plastic wrapped around my leg and it's like 30 degrees Celsius and it does not feel nice. <laughs> Finally, I am back home and this plastic is, it's slipping off and the sweat is pouring 
I am definitely just gonna have to take this plastic off right away. I cannot walk around like this. with the result and I'm very excited to do the next session in uh, August which is just gonna be like uh, a couple of spots that are gonna be filled in with black and just some shading uh, and stuff like that and I think it's gonna be super awesome I mean it's already awesome I love the design I sorry <laughs> I know I made it so it's kind of braggy but I just can't help it I love it uh, but I uh, worked pretty quickly, I have to say, that was just a few hours. I think we were in the chair for like four, maybe five hours, if even that, yeah, something like that. So he's fairly quick, I would say, and originally I was just gonna do like a fairly small piece that's just like in the middle of the back side of the thigh, basically, and it, we tried to place it, but it just... I wasn't happy with it, so he printed out a bigger one to see, and I was just like, yes, much better this way. Um, and I'm very happy that I went with the bigger version. I think it looks awesome. Hey guys, so it's a couple of days later. I am back at work, um, saying hi from C3 over here. And uh, my tattoo is looking good. And uh, please don't mind the mess. It's a workshop after all. As you can see, it's starting to come off a little bit here, which is totally normal and it still looks awesome. I cannot wait to get this baby done. We're gonna do uh, some, a little bit of shading on like the flowers and stuff and a couple of uh, areas are gonna be completely black, uh, which is also gonna just um make the design pop a little bit more and yeah this tattoo was pretty painful i would say on the back side of the thigh is very sensitive obviously you have very thin and like soft skin so it's very sensitive uh so i you know there was a couple of spots um on this thing where i just kind of had to really get through it but Overall, I don't think it was that bad. As you can see, I am at work and I'm in the middle of working on these chairs, so I better get back to it. Um, but I wanna thank you guys again for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. Uh, even though it's going slow, my channel is slowly but surely growing a little bit every day and I love it. I love you guys for subscribing and supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. I hope to see you again very soon back here on my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.